right, guys. It is Saturday morning. It is 11.50. It's 59 degrees. And I wanted to see what the solar array would do now that I finally have the 2.0 update. Now, I live where... I always park in the garage, okay? So looking at my lifetime hours here is not, not fair at all because I'm always in the garage when I'm home. But today I'm going to leave it out in the sun for roughly six hours and see where we are. So we have 24 kilowatt hours added. Well, that's our starting point. And we have 77.4 miles added lifetime. Now I wouldn't make much out of the lifetime because, again, you know, I always park in the garage. And I live in an area, I actually live between two mountains, so I don't get the early morning sun, nor do I ever get the late evening sun. But today's a good day. Should be great for solar if you understand how solar works. Solar actually prefers to cooler temperatures. So, you know, 59 degrees, it's supposed to get up to about 67 degrees here in Kentucky. So this should be a very good uh, demonstration. If you want to see where it is right now, let's see, let's go to live. Uh, yeah, I mean, you can see right there, you know, it's very good conditions for solar because it's sunny. Let me try to get, show you the sun there, okay? Uh, hardly any clouds in the sky at all. So it's sunny, it's fairly cool, so it's pretty much the perfect circumstances for solar. Now, something I don't like about what Fisker's done here is they've given us a percentage solar rate. I don't find that useful at all because I don't know what the wattage of the panel is. I'm actually assuming that it's a 400 watt panel, but I don't know. I've never read anything on the panel to know what it is. Personally, I would much rather see the wattage output that it's given. And then when you go here to the lifetime, you know, that, that would actually mean a lot more to me because we would know the wattage of the panel because I don't find the live view very useful at all. But anyway, it's 11.52. I'll come back out, and if I remember, I'll look at it about 3 o'clock, and then I'll look at it about 6 o'clock. So, experiment in motion here. Guys, it's just been a little over three hours. It's a beautiful day here in Kentucky. Uh, very few clouds in the sky. I've been mowing. My alarm went off, let me know that it was 3 o'clock, so it's probably, I don't know, 3.10 or something by now. So, let's see how we're doing. So, the ocean has been... In the sun, you can see here, you know, the top's, top's not dirty. It's got a little dust on it, stuff like that. Let's see how we've done after. Oh, okay, it's 3.06. All right, let's see how we've done. So, boy, that needs wiped off, don't it? Sorry if the camera went everywhere. All right, so we are charging. All right, all right. Sorry about all that. We are charging at a solar rate of seventy-two percent, which means very little to me unless I knew what the wattage of the panel was. But let's go to here to lifetime, and now we're up to twenty-five kilowatt hours and seventy-eight point eight miles. So I don't remember what I started with, but I'll figure that out later. So I'm going to check it again at roughly 6 o'clock. Uh, that, you know, that's going to be roughly 6 hours sitting in the sun. Most people are going to get way more than that. Um, but, you know, I park in the garage. So I'm, I'm thinking, you know, a little more along the lines of sitting in the parking lot during your work hour days. Eight hours would probably be more appropriate. But I'm going to do six just, just so we have that. All right, guys, we'll pick back up here at roughly 6 o'clock. All right, just a quick update. It's 5.20. I want to show you the sky. It has clouded up quite a bit over the last 40 minutes. So I did move my car to finish mowing, but I'm going to leave it here until it's roughly 6 o'clock. And then I'm going to check and see how we did. All right, guys, it's 6 o'clock. Let's see how we did after six hours of sitting in the sun now you're going to notice right here hopefully you you can see this that the shade has come over at my house okay now i'm gonna put this up here so you can see that the trees have already started blocking the sun here and that's probably been going on for about the last 40 minutes 
but even in you know this amount of light even though they're in the shade the solar array should be producing something but let's open it up and find out how we did over the course of the day can see there that it's 603 so let's see how we're doing huh all right it's saying zero percent now I find that perplexing because I know enough about solar that even in the shade a 400 watt panel should be producing something right now um, that makes me think that this thing may have some type of string inverter that has to be woke up enough before it would start showing production. Now, maybe, maybe not. A uh, micro inverter would clearly be producing power with a 400 watt panel, and I'm assuming it's a 400 watt panel. I don't know, okay? So I'm just kind of thinking on the fly here. It's saying 0%. You know, the sun, I mean, it is daylight out. Now, we are in the shade, okay? And the sun is passing through those trees, but even with the 400 watt panel, that should be producing something. So I do find that strange. Let's see how we did today. All right, lifetime. Okay, 79.8 and 25. What did we start with? 77 point something. Okay. I think it was 77.4 maybe so if it was that's what 2.4 miles it generated today uh, let's go back to live I am I am perplexed that that's showing zero um, my best guess is this thing is using a string inverter top setup instead of a micro inverter top setup and it requires a certain amount of power to wake that to wake that piece of equipment up uh, Maybe that's not the case, but like I said, I know enough about solar that <clears throat> I, I think that's right. All right, let's get out and uh, run these numbers. All right, just for reference, so you guys don't think that I'm nuts. The reason that I know enough about solar is I actually built that. Now, if you've not watched, I actually did one video where I showed you that I actually built this. And I did a quick video over that and if I walk over here you're gonna have a bad angle on it but you're actually gonna see that I built two more I built two more behind it okay hopefully you can make that out maybe I can zoom in you can see that a little bit better okay there are two more arrays back there and I used in phase inverters when I did that because that was a problem with string inverters is you have to have a certain percentage of Sun to wake them up that's not a problem with micro inverters because they get woke up with just you know just a few watts wakes those dudes up so anyway I wanted to point that out that way I didn't get a lot of golly the wind's blowing pretty hard here that way I didn't get a lot of crazy comments you know about about my string inverter micro inverter comment because my panels up there individually even in the shade they're producing something and those are the ones in the front are 230 watts the ones in the back most of them are 250 to 275 watts most of them in the back are so I do know what I'm talking about oh so just one more time here to satisfy my own curiosity okay you can see that yeah we are in the shade yeah it is a little bit you know shade covered but the Sun is still out you know the sun is still shining you can see the shades come over there so we have the difference between you know the shade and the sun I'm gonna get back in the ocean one more time just to make sure that that still says zero because if that's true then the ocean is missing out on a lot of potential a lot of potential energy by not getting woke up <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah, still says zero. I wonder what the minimum rate that we can see. I wonder when it just goes from, you know, a certain percentage to zero. Maybe that's another video for another day. But yeah, we're clearly looking at zero here. So let's see if anything's changed since I got out. Nope. All right, 79.8 in 25 kilowatt hours over the lifetime. So let's see how we did today. All right, guys, so how did we do? Uh, we started with 77.4 miles, and we ended the day with 79.8 miles. Now, remember, this is over a six-hour period, okay? So that netted us, net, boy, I said that wrong. That netted us 2.4 miles. So, that's nothing to sneeze at. That's real range. So, you know, if you start adding that up over time, uh, that's definitely going to add up. I am still perplexed, though, why the solar panel is not waking up. Is that a hiccup in the software? Is that a hiccup in, you know, just design? I don't know. I don't know. All I know is what it can show me. So, uh, I think there is enough sun out right now, though. That, that panel should be, be producing, I'm going to say... If I was ballparking it in the shade, I would say it's still producing 40 to 50 watts uh, where it is. That's that's about what I would expect, at least, minimum, 40 to 50 watts. Uh, anyway, hope you found this helpful. And if you're enjoying my content, just hit the like button. And if you have any suggestions for videos, just let me know. And I appreciate you joining in. And until next time.